um, and I want to go through some of the highlights of this particular demo. Um, what we've set up here, we have a real LTE network with two LTE radios, one here and one here, and we can demonstrate handoffs between the two different uh, uh, radio base stations, something we'll demonstrate later on in, in this demonstration. Um, what's very important is that using this LTE, we have one radio infrastructure handling all the different types of radio services. A key um, radio application is the onboard surveillance, CCTV, in real time. So currently, railways are able to only record CCTV of the onboard activity. They're not able to transmit it to a control center in real time. With LTE, we're able to send these images in real time to the control center. So if there's an incident on the train, the control center can focus in on the particular carriage with the incident and uh, know and react um, uh, appropriately. With CCTV, we're also able to present the driver with real-time CCTV images. And the driver is able to either see the platform and uh, operate the doors uh, of a long train or a train on a curve. And this replaces um, the current uh, platform camera system, which has platform-based monitors. If you have a, uh, a cab-based monitor, it's much more efficient. You need much, more, much fewer uh, monitors. Another application which we can be used here is for level crossing detection or obstacles ahead. So you can um, have a camera 10 kilometers ahead looking at a level crossing and the driver in advance, he can see if the level crossing is clear and he's able to brake on time if there is an emergency. What we'd like to demonstrate now is the uh, push to talk capability of the um, Of the, um, 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 uh, of the uh, mission push to talk, we have integrated into this LTE the push to talk capability. And um, I'm just going to demonstrate this um, now. So we have, um, for example, push to talk all devices. Hello, this is a test call. This is a test call. So you can see we have push to talk um, connected to other push to talk devices. Uh, to the railway dispatcher, and we even have the uh, the driver involved. Um, if I do the uh, push to talk Zetron patch, so you can get the Zetron patch here in the favorite. If I want to talk to this this device okay, here, okay, so it's. It's this one. This one. In here, you have to set on okay, touch in the list. Okay. So, um, what's interesting is we've set up a, a group call between LTE device and Tetra devices. Uh, many railways are using either a legacy GSMR um, handset system or a Tetra handset system, and using a control room patch, we're able to establish group calls between the new LTE push-to-talk system and the legacy uh, LTE, uh, legacy Tetra system. So you can do a smooth migration between the different systems and you can um, uh, ensure that employees with uh, uh, legacy Tetra devices are still able to communicate smoothly and seamlessly with any new uh, LTE push-to-talk devices. So that's an important aspect. Um, we also have um, a driver push the talk system. So we've established uh, this one. And uh, we're able to, this is a test call. Can you hear me? This is a test call. And uh, the driver is able to communicate yeah, they're using this device with the push-to-talk system. So we've established a push-to-talk uh, system for the driver. It replaces the cab radio. The GSMR cab radio is replaced by an LTE-based push-to-talk system. Now what's important, we're setting all these um, railway applications 
over one radial interface. And we have mission critical functions and non-mission critical functions. And what we're able to, to um, uh, prove here, and uh, we started by doing uh, what uh, this yes, one? Yes, yes. This one. So we're going to start uh, the traffic here. We have a traffic generator here. And uh, it's going to start uh, running generated traffic through the LTE system, both on the uplink and the downlink. So we have CBTC uplink traffic, CBTC downlink traffic, and this is mission critical train control. We have passenger information simulated on the uplink and downlink, and we have simulated Wi-Fi passenger traffic using an LTE, the same LTE backhaul as the other services. And we have staff telephony on the uplink and downlink. Now, what we've done here, we're only using a five megabits per second, five megahertz uh, channel bandwidth, and we're trying to set through the uh, network uh, perhaps 15 megabits per second. So you can see that the uh, channel is overloaded. This Wi-Fi traffic has packet loss of 65% on the uplink, 43% uh, on the downlink. The channel is overloaded. This Wi-Fi traffic isn't able to use or, or isn't the uh, bandwidth of the LT channel isn't wide enough in order to handle this particular throughput. But you can see at the same time the CBTC traffic is going over the same LT radio channel and you can see the packet loss is almost zero. And the latency is 8 milliseconds on the uplink, 9 milliseconds on the downlink on average. So um, the CBTC requirements are still met even though the Wi-Fi channel is overlo overloading the LTE radio channel. So you can see from this that CBTC uh, mission critical traffic can share with non-mission critical traffic as well. And we can see, even though the channel is overloaded, the, CBT, the CCTV images are still running smoothly. Now, in this demonstration, we're also able to uh, simulate the handoff that I mentioned earlier. We um, have simulated a, two radio base stations five kilometers apart. And um, we have a programmable attenuator um, simulating a train traveling between the two radio base stations at 350 kilometers per hour. So we have the uh, attenuation slope being attenuated as if a train was traveling 300 kilometers, 350 kilometers per hour. And you can see that the performance is not affected. So the capability of, uh, of LT to do fast handoffs, mobility in a high-speed environment is shown to be uh, quite performing well uh, under these environments. Okay. Okay. Now, here in the, um, we have a demonstration here of um, uh, LTE radios used in Korean metro systems today. Um, this particular application shows um, a uh, video call where I'm able to make a video call between um, two different drivers or the driver and the control using LTE. So these are LTE-based um, communication systems for those metro train drivers to communicate between each other or to the control. Another interesting um, uh, feature here is this um, application, which um, is, uh, is an emergency passenger announcement system based on LTE. And uh, if you can imagine if there is a train accident or a train derailment, it's possible that the passenger announcement system could be disconnected between the driver and the passengers. If that happens, this particular unit comes into, a, into effect, and I'm going to simulate a cut in the passenger announcement wiring system, and automatically this system comes into, and, and the, the driver, driver is, is able, able to, to see the make, make announcements, announcements to the passenger, passenger using the LTE radio. radio. This, this unit has a built-in battery, and uh, is completely independent, and he uses the LT radio to communicate. So either the driver or even the control center can make announcements and see what's going on 
to, with the particular passengers uh, that are affected um, using LTE. And I think that is, covers basically all the, um, the particular features um, of this particular railway demo. Thank you very much.